Hi everyone, it's Neve here and welcome to my art journaling channel. Today I'm going to take you through the first half of my newest blue um, Dina Wakeley journal um, and show you the pages I've done so far. So this is one of the first pages. I don't work chronologically. Um, I tend to jump all over the place so this is actually one of my later pages I've done. And I was just playing around with extra paint that I had on my board, spreading it out. Um, these are the Stronger Men stamp sets and I took a cue from um, the very talented Michelle Logan who actually draws extra shading on it and does lots of pen work. I love the look of it so I cut the stamped images out of white card and then just added some extra pen detail onto it. These bits are from the Collage Collective. Uh, this page is just again playing around with sort of some random shapes and colours in the background. I love how the bright colours really pop on the denim pages. Um, using this little doll from the collage tissues and luckiest state of mind. In this journal I was very lucky to receive some of this sample um, new gloss sprays from Ranger Ink from Dina Wakeley. So a lot of the, the work in here is the, the stamper work that I've been doing playing around with the new spray. So um, I really loved, this is one of the first pages I did using the new sprays which I really loved but I actually forgot to hit record when I did it so I had to do another page with it. Um, but I, I liked how it turned out and just how the, the sprays resist each other which is lovely so you can see them through each other. This page again is using the sprays um, and using the old and new colours together and I found that while I really enjoy spraying the sprays I've actually really enjoyed just painting with them because um, I can do an awful lot of stuff like I do with the normal acrylics um, but it's more translucent so you can get, sort of get build up those layers. I think this page in itself would make a great card front. You could use smaller images and sort of reduce it and make a card front. These pieces are done um, for the Artful Academy um, course that's coming up on colour, so um, I'll give more details about that when it comes up, or using Dina Wakeley paints. This was a page I did just um, really simple collage in the background for pages to paper craft, paper to P to P crafts, I think it's page pictures to pages, pictures to pages, that's the one. Um, Michelle Brown does um, some live demos, so I was doing a live art journaling demo for that. This is a page I did for my um, scrap effects design team. So again, using lots of Dina Waitley colors in the background, some scrap effects products as well over the top, just to blend it in. Uh, I really love creating like this. This is just using the off, like a print off of my stencil and had some other bits and pieces and it's just really simple. It doesn't feel finished to me but I don't know what to do to finish it. So if anyone's got any suggestions pop them in the description box or in the comments below. This page however I love. Um, it's using the new gilt in the background and it was just really simple but I love the combination with the burlap on it. This is, piece has been sitting out in my desk for a long time since my last journal I cut it out and it's just nice to find somewhere to put it. This again is using the new gloss sprays. There's a video up of this page. One of the things I love about the sprays is getting it to be able to drip down the page and obviously I was using my favourite stencil on this page too. This page was um, inspired by a very talented artist. I cannot remember her name. I'm so sorry. It is on the video that's on my channel. Um, it was in the Dina Wakeley Kindred Artist page. Um, she's a very talented Indian artist. I'm so sorry I can't remember her name. I'll try and um, link it in the description box below. Um, but she did a page very similar to this and I just love the the effect of how she used the windows in the background and some texture paste on it. And I had this brick stencil and I thought oh that's really cool and then I ended up getting the new gloss sprays and it's like oh they work really well to try and get that grungy effect that I really love. So just sort of combi combining a few different things together and I came up with this page. This again was, um, I was playing around with the idea of using the gloss sprays like watercolours and again, um, two years ago probably, I did a page similar to this using watercolours and I thought I'll try it using the um, gloss sprays because again I've been using them more to cover the whole page and I didn't really think about combining them into sort of rainbow colours 
which is really silly of me because they work beautifully and grabbing out some of my old stamps and these are old Tim Holtz stamps and they just work really nicely together this page um, was done after watching the Dina Wakely mashup video combining with some of the Di Reevely um, images and I have to say I actually bought this stamp set a while ago but I bought it to do this and I never got around to doing it so actually watching the video gave me the prompt to um, actually go in and do it again you can see I'm sort of been inspired by Michelle Logan's extra pen work I just love how she does it it just finishes off the image and makes it look more hand-drawn which is silly because Dina Wakely's stuff is all hand-drawn but you know what I mean the only thing I'm a bit disappointed in, I, I couldn't get my um, tissues to go very translucent on this page, but it is what it is. This is using the Big Dina Wakely face stencil and trying to finish it off and then blocking out the background. I originally just had the face with the, the background through it, which I really liked, but um, because everything was in the foreground it needed something to push it back so I needed to darken off the edges just to push the face out a little bit. This is a page I've actually got um, videoed on my um, channel to replicate this one. Um, I really like that but I think I like the softness of this page better. So there you go, same, same technique, different results which I really love. This page I'm really proud of because it was me trying to again watercolour and do some florals which I'm not very good at doing but I really had fun with doing this and one of the things that gave me confidence to do it was um, unlike with watercolours which are obviously water reactive I could lay down something and it once it was dried it was permanent and then I could lay down another layer and so on so I could build up the layers so I started from very pale colours and then built up into the darks um, and they did kind of act like watercolors so it was it was interesting and I also like that I had an old stencil in the background but I left it plain I didn't play around with the, the backgrounds which I really enjoyed these are another two pages for that um, color competition composition class for the um, Artful Academy so um, using Dina Wakely's so it was playing around with new color combos this page I did after I'd done all those painting pages and I had some leftover of the gloss sprays in my palette and I just painted them out to again make a rainbow because stupidly I just never really thought about doing that with them and I just love that background. It was so simple um, and it just combined really well with the quote from Georgia O'Keeffe. So I did this for the um, Dina Wakely Grateful Challenge, Show Us Your Media Grateful Challenge. This page, I really liked the background. Um, I'd done it in a very similar way to. Where is it? It's hiding. It's hiding. It's hiding. There. I did it exactly the same way as that background. Um, so that's what it looks like underneath. Then I put the large tissue paper over the top, which I liked, but it dulls it down because even though it is translucent, you still get that cloudiness of having the tissue there. I do wonder if I'd actually cut out the body um, so you'd have the brightness coming through the body if that would have helped. But you know, live and learn. Um, but it was an, an interesting thing to do and it was nice to sort of get a really simple piece of art. This page um, I did today and I really love it. I love the colours of it. I love how simple it is. And again, I don't use the stamp set very often. I, I really like it. So it was just really quick and easy, but fun to do and nice and bright. This page I was using the chipboard shapes. This one I'd sprayed with gloss sprays and then just um, cut up all those little, I tore them up, sorry, um, collage words, sheets and, and collage them over the top and then just put them onto a really simple background. Again, this is just sort of using up leftover paints and then adding a little bit of tissue on it. So it didn't take very long to do, um, which I really love. This page um, was my last page for my 100 day project and it's based on a design from, again, Michelle Logan, highly inspired by her at the moment. She's amazing. And she did this picture where she'd um, done this mirror reflection of this stamped image and I just adored it and I wanted to do something similar. 
my thought processes when I was doing it though, I, I went down this rabbit hole of thinking about reflection and what it meant to me and um, what sort of reflection I wanted to be for my kids and what sort of role model I wanted to be for my kids. So yeah, while I was doing it, while it's a really simple page, there was a lot of extra thought that went into it and sort of into the journaling and into the, the quotes um, and background behind it. So. It's funny to sort of look at a page like that and know how much deep thinking went into it and look at a page like this where it's like, yep, just stencil stamp, that, that's done. Um, it, it's, it's odd when I look at pages sort of like that that are sort of chalk and cheese. They've sort of got about the same amount of detail in it, but there's so much more in this page than there is in this page. This is the last page of this is my halfway point. This was um, again playing around with the new gloss sprays and with texture paste. So I glued down the face, put texture paste through a stencil all the way over here and then let it dry. This is actually crackle stencil paste um, so you get a really cool texture through it as well and then just sprayed on the different colours and let it drip down. I did spray <laughs> Spatter on some fuchsia afterwards, which may or may not have been a uh, mistake. Probably really should have gone maybe the blue or something, but you know, live and learn. And then put in the um, tissue paper quote down the bottom, which I love how translucent that's gone. So you just see the black on it, you don't even feel the tissue on it. So that is the first half of my new blue journal. Um, I'm looking forward to finishing off the second half, but I wanted to to flip through before it got too big and chunky so you could see the first half. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye for now.